Welcome back to day seven of the 100 horror films in 31 days. I uh, got in, gosh, I got in on quite a bit of films that I think six. So we're going to go through those. First up is Pie Wacket 2017, directed by Adam McDonald. And he was, he also did Backcountry, which I, I liked Backcountry, uh, killer bear movie. Pie Wacket is about a girl that uh, is into kind of the goth lifestyle and, and she decides that she's having conflicts with her mother and decides to perform a, a ritual to have her killed and summon the witch demon Pie Wacket. Little does she know that when she does that, uh, it's very hard to, re to reverse it as well as once Pie Wacket does what you want it to do for you, it, it comes after you. And so it's, it's a tense movie. I mean, it's a simple story, well acted. Uh, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 2017 watch. Definitely recommend Pie Wacket. It was a, I think I watched it on uh, Hulu. Next up is another film that I watched streaming. A, a Cold Night's Death, 1972-1973. And this is a film with that stars Eli Wallach, who, of course, is better known for uh, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Uh, he is he and a, a cohort scien or scientists that have been assigned to go investigate a lab up in the Arctic where... They, one of the scientists that was there is no longer, no, they're no longer able to communicate it with them. Something's wrong. Uh, and this lab is conducting experiments on monkeys. And so when they get there, they find the guy frozen to death. And these two are assigned this Arctic uh, research center. So they're, they spend a lot of time together and, and they slowly become very paranoid, very delusional and and they basically the same thing that happened to the other guys looks like it's happening to them it's a it's a very good made it was made for tv it was one of those abc weekly shows movies back in the early 70s uh the movie of the week if you will i, I really liked it it's a tense good it's a short tense film 75 minutes uh and it, had, it was great acting I thought it was fantastic. I give it a 7 out of 10. Definitely recommend you checking that out on YouTube if you've never seen it. That's a hidden, a little, little known gem from the 70s. Next up is uh, Adam Green's film, and that is Frozen. This is 2010. You know, for such a simple, this is a very simple story, and, and it's a great example of the keep it simple principle from a story perspective and how effective that can be if everything else around the story works. Basically, it's three kids that got stuck on a ski lift. I mean, that's it. But it's 90 minutes of tension. It's a fantastic uh, roller coaster ride of just tense moments. Uh, I really enjoyed it. You really end up putting yourself in the position of these kids and, and what would you do kind of stuff. Uh, it's uh, well done, well acted. One of, I think it's one of Adam Green's best films, quite honestly, outside of maybe Hatchet. This is probably his best film. Really enjoyed it. I've seen it multiple times. This is probably my... This was the um, subset pick. So... For the day, so yeah, I I enjoyed it quite a bit. Rewatch, revisiting Frozen. Next up is Sweet Sixteen, nineteen eighty three. I haven't seen, I've never seen this before, and it stars Bo Hopkins as a sheriff out in Arizona. I think it's Arizona town that uh, uh, is started. It has a newcomer that comes to visit, a lady named Joan and her daughter, who's just turning sixteen. And some weird things start happening. People start dying. Uh, there's an Indian subplot with some Indian knife, Indian knife relics subplot going on. And you've got Bo Hopkins kind of propelling the story. I have a real soft spot for Bo Hopkins. Uh, 
he was born in Greenville, South Carolina, and he's he comes across. He always, to me, comes across as very authentic. I really like Bo Hopkins, and I think he did a great job in this. Um, it's it's it, you know it's a it's one of your lower tier slashers. I give it a six out of ten. It probably wouldn't even rate as high as that had it not been for Bo Hopkins, uh, because you can see who the killer. I I, I kind of guess the killer after thirty minutes. So it was you know it's one of those deals, and it but it's not bad. It's a definite. It's a neat little watch. Uh, I haven't checked out. There's a commentary on this with Cal and Waddle, I think, that I got to check out. And then, uh, let's see, last but not least, the Gates, one of the Gates of Hell trilogies, City of the Living Dead. This is that really nice Arrow release that came out. Uh, finally cracked this thing open. It's It's got a huge booklet. Of course, the uh, Blu-ray, some lobby cards. What can I say about City of the Living Dead? Uh, it's probably my, it's my favorite of the Gates of Hell trilogy. I think I would, if I had to rank them, I would rank City of the Living Dead one, the Beyond number two, and then the third one, of course. Um, gosh, can't believe I forgot the name. The third one, I would obviously. I would put third. <laughs> so, yeah, City of the Living Dead is uh, basically you've got a priest that hangs himself. And uh, by hanging himself, he summons or opens the gates of hell. And at that point, you've got so many weird things going on in this movie. Uh, you've, got zomb you've got zombie people. You've got a variety of evil pr things going on that... Uh, the pers it's just it's just a gore fest. Uh, uh, not Susan George, but her husband is in this, and he plays a reporter that, uh, and he does a good job. I think he he was very good in this. It's it's a it's one of my favorites. I mean, it's it's a nine out of ten. Probably clearly one of the best of the Gates of Hell. I mean, you could definitely argue the Beyond is probably number one. But for me, City of the Living Dead is number one, closely followed by The Beyond. Very, very closely followed. There's a host of special features on here. I, obviously, I'm not going to get to it in October. I will get to it uh, sometime after October. So those were some good watches this time. I really enjoyed the day. And uh, let me know what you think of those watches or you have any comments. I appreciate it. Thanks.